the first to know in CMPTV. Atu biga etenasi, emra lawyer po admochi etenasi na in some odi tu kiasi. Oso no ba sete the record street. O can point blank say, I have set the record street. But I ain't here. You break away from NDC, you know, and then watch them. I say, hey, sebe ya obe a guide, and I sobe criticize it. Na enema ni mi abe ma John Drummond mama ya enya because ohora o kana o aso mufu. I say the only hot o kana na o de akuduro eni na mi na eka ni ya nuko o kani me pi ah na a dead pefe se. Debbie, and this is having a problem. Na, we had physical things more can. Na, ono di oka is in su point say, Doctor Alaj Mahmud Baumia, hands down, only size because eh, in some more can any tribal politics, any religious politics. Say say in this interview, nya baby ya nya tribal politics because oka say not na, ono si not na. But. Only a Muslim now, Fifi Koti, any Alan could you teach a front of party? It's because no Muslim should be a president in Ghana. No more champion way there, any on the end here. No, not the all can say you're a doctor, a large mamma do bow me or no, and a far a banner. Now, okay, come and come on, and near ma, you're a bow me, and any boss, I ya a boss. Now, never be arrogant. Nas yura a friend say na poko ka odika etifu emra in charon yanko ni yanko tie Stephen Atubiga nensa mo do tujan bi mra. Who's going to information? Eh eh eh. I forgot. But I know Standogo was is supposed to be chief of staff. Um, I told in that in the list, and this is a factual list that was submitted. Oh, the, how do you know it's factual? Oh, because maybe it's fake. Maybe no, it's fake. No, it's not fake. Trust me, it's mm -hmm. not fake. Mm -hmm. I, 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 we are a breakaway of the party, mm -hmm. so our mother this. party, mm -hmm. and our our some of our members are still in the there. And I want to set the record straight today. We broke out of the NDC to be able to hold them accountable their actions and inactions. We did not form NDC to come and chastise any. We want to use it to fix our, it's like moving your, from your father's house to build your own house and holding your brothers accountable for not making the house what it's supposed to be. And NLC will be irrelevant if we are not point, then we should have stayed there to rot with them if we cannot criticize home. And charity begins at home. Mm -hmm. Now, we want the NDC to understand that Dr. Mahmoud Ubaumia is not an ordinary potato that you think we have already won, we've already won. This is a man that in this country, mm -hmm. Muslims, Muslims and other traditional religions, religious bodies have been very loyal and honest with Christians. I'm talking about revolution and uh, 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 de democratic rules. Mm -hmm. We've supported that, that system that Christians have ruled. Mm -hmm. So Dr. Mahmoud Bahamia today being a Muslim, me being a Muslim today, we have the right. We are the only people that have the right to also go to the, most, to the Christian fraternity. And make a case that, look, we've been loyal and faithful to you people, Christians, both democratic and revolution rules, Christ, uh, Christians, I mean, Muslim, we've served you, we've been very loyal. Mm -hmm. So we are pleading, not that we have that right, but we are pleading that also give us the opportunity for the first time for us to also rule this country. Because Fifi Kote and Alan and Co statements have triggered the Muslims to now say, oh, is that how they look at us? So the Christians, we have been supporting, are you getting me? And it, mm -hmm. it, it's a very dangerous statement for Alan and Fifi to have made those statements, a, a Muslim cannot be president. Alan going to a very big church that he should make sure that it is a Christian that is a, elected a president. Mm -hmm. And that has put uh, um, an invisible fear in most Christians that I talk to, that my brother, said statement, what is happening in Nigeria, that Muslims can just, are you getting me? Mm -hmm. So looking at the other side of making sure that Ghanaians will know that, okay, this tribe or this religion have been very uh, 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 faithful and honest without loyal. Let's also give them the opportunity to also rule this country. And when you go around, Muslims are saying that, some are saying, look, I'm NDC, I'm not MPP. For the mm -hmm. fact that I also see my Quran also being lifted up for the first time. Yes. Eh? At the independence. At the square. independence. My brother, have you seen the crowd at the north? But Dr. Bahamia lifted up the Quran when he was taking the oath of vice but president. But they don't vote for running mates. Mm. Look, and put me on record, the mm -hmm. Akans and the Ashantis, <laughs> they own this country. Not just bringing us on board, whether you like it or not. We are, they, are, they are bringing us on board to come and balance an equation. 
Are you getting me? Mm -hmm. Any successful northerner or any whether businessman or poly, it is an account that has that makes us. And when you also get the opportunity, this is the time that John Ramani Mahama was enjoying monopoly. Mm -hmm. My big brother, as the first northerner to have led this country to open doors after no, Liman was the no first. Liman failed us. I'm talking about after ah, 40 oh, years. Okay, okay, okay. All Doctor. Right. John Damani Mahama is the first, after 40 years, the first Nordner that has been given opportunity to lead us to open doors, both NDC and people, every Nordner to have hope. Are you getting me? Mm -hmm. And then he did what he had to do. And then there's another Dombo, 50 years, that gave birth mm -hmm. to Dr. Mahmoud Bahamia. And Nordners are not taking it for granted. They've tasted John Damani Mahama's leadership. One NDC person told me that yes. I should talk to the MP people because they are doing a very dirty campaign in the North. So I asked him, that, what's, what's the campaign? Why is it dirty? He said, do you know what they are telling the Northern people? They are telling them that, look, Liman was brought by Moro Igala. Thank you, because he was corrupted. And because corruption. of that, the majority Ashantis didn't support Thank Liman. You. Then Thank he you. failed. Thank you. John Mahama was brought by the Fantis. Yes. And because of that, the Ashantis didn't support. You Good. see what Baumia has done? Good. He's going to get the support of the Ashantis because they brought him. Thank you. So he will be successful. So rather Thank vote for him. Yes. He will definitely do yes. two terms. Thank you. Because they will make sure... And the Nordness, who are supposed to support John Dramani Mahama... He has allowed the Nordness to be run down by Fifi Kote in the party that today there is no any credible Nordner left. That is why John Dramani Mahama keep making those on call for statement because there is no when Harun Edrisu and Co, Mutaka and Co, or other Nasa would have told my brother, don't say this. Don't say that. Yeah, don't do true. this. Haruna would have told Fifi yes. you can't say that. Yes. So, he understands so at politics. this moment, my brother never protected his own. And if you look but at the like who do Yaya is there? Oh, who do Yaya? You see. Knowing my big brother Hudi Yaya very well, you mm -hmm. know he's married to John Ramani Mahamas, direct sister, one yes. father, one yes. mother. And Hudi Yaya is not the kind that is very out there. Are you getting him? He's very... He's an important member of the yes, party. The but they are not using them. They are not using them. That's Who's not you, using them? That's the John Ramani Mahama, if he had called... Look, President Kufu, it is the Ashantis that made... It, look, you bathe your child. Uh -huh. Let the child look good and bring the child and the others... Who, Embrace. Yeah, yeah. So if you look at President Kufu, the Ashantis gave him 100%. Mm -hmm. President, uh, a former President Rollins, the Ashanti, the Airways all collectively gave it and then they embraced. President Anado, the Akans and all gave, so as President Kufu. Then John Dramani Mahama. Now you are going to split. The, that's his, he and a very experienced president. No, but NDC will win the North. They believe they will win it's, all it's, the Northern Sea. Did you see the crowd? Where? If uh, Look at from Walwali to Tamale area, where the vice I'm talking about where the, have they seen the crowd? I saw Bimbila. Yes, look at Bimbila. My but mother is, little, little knows how to My mother is Konkomba. Yes. Okay, mm. from those areas, from mm. Bunchiritanga, and I know, I know all those areas. Mm. Majority of them used to be NDC. Mm -hmm. Today they have 10. Are you sure? Yes, yes. Look, they can. So we should be expecting different I'm results telling you because Konkomba. we didn't use them when, 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 they, when, they, when they've been loyal. They, they felt that they didn't use them. The Konkomba started complaining. And Moses Mavingwe was sent as an ambassador. Sent as ambassador, you cannot help the people. Mm -hmm. Then we went and brought the PNC man to come and be the deputy chief of staff last minute. That's uh, Prosper? No, not Prosper. There's the, the deputy chief of staff that they brought last. Who is? Oh, deputy chief of staff. Okay. Yes, <laughs> before we went to opposition. <laughs> and he's a P. So they were peeved. So Harun and Drusu arranged and made sure that they brought a Konkumba man, his sponsor, to come and be the regional chairman, the bastard. At the northern region, mm -hmm. so this was then such a person, John Ramani Mahama. You want to be president? You've allowed all your northern brothers, including us, who put our neck on the table, chopped. You folded. They've run everything. That now you are alone. For the first time in the history of this country, they are the party is choosing your campaign team. Always you hear the five pre presidents. Which party chooses campaign? Team? <laughs> John Ramani Mahama. How do you know the party? Because chooses always team? our norm of NDC is the president nominates his own campaign team yes, so and announces from the president of it. Yes. This time it wasn't like that. Well, but I'm sure President Mahama. But it is wrong. That list. is not the norm. I'm sure he gave the list. But he wants to be. It shows that you are not independent. Then you have. Then you boastfully, the Hawaiians come to say. Let me ask you an example. If you look at the campaign list. list. You remove Kwesi Awai there because he was a threat to you. Remember, he was a threat to you, you mm, from yes. interior minister mm -hmm. to uh, ambassador. ambassador. Because you remember at those days that Tamils was sick, it was Harun Edrisu. It, yes. it was Harun Edrisu and Kwesi Awai's ticket. Ticket. ticket that was brewing. Yes, yes, and yes. And that is where then... Felt but that's that, a strong ticket, I have yes, to say. Kwesi yes. Awai, Harun Edrisu. Yes, and then Bovlo Latte was felt to be so strong that he had to get rid of him. So, he, and if I'm John Dramani, Mama, I would have also done the same because the circumstances mm. you brought. Now you are bringing them. They are too old. How can you, you they can be advisors. How can you make Alabi, Professor Alabi, 
who is more stronger when it comes to the party structure professor aladi is bigger and strong i'm talking about party structure grass than john dramani mahama you make such a person your campaign manager a campaign manager is somebody that you can send somebody that you, you can shout at somebody that the candidate can say look what are you doing go here and go and do this can you do that to professor alabi professor alabi but professor alabi should submit himself to the no. president professor alabi has never been president I'm, of ghana yes, but, has been president but, of ghana. but our party structure and mm -hmm. chain in chain in line mm -hmm. and seniority alabi carries such a loud cloud in his own capacity that he's good for, as an advisor you think if alabi was an advisor sitting back on a chair looking at the direction the president is going an advisor and he has a, a, a party chairman and a party uh, a, a campaign manager like let's say a free anchor let's say uh, uh, uh oh i get the point are you getting me he can tell them that tell the president that he shouldn't be making such statement president come you see when you go if every region mm -hmm. every town every place have the language that they speak and any political party that is in opposition that is running a campaign like they are already in government they can't win an election they are running the ndc is running behind the candidate like Shatawale with his team like mm -hmm. it's a superstar a movie star mm -hmm. they are not running and as a former president you can be groomed you can be tamed as a former president you can be tamed. your you have an experience your language should be different from somebody who wants to be president dr mahmoud Baumia is running the campaign like he has never been president dr mahmoud is Mahmoud is campaign like he is an opposition leader who now wants to taste power the ndc now look you have traveled when the, they have built a party around one person, if John Dramani Mahama is not in a, if he's not at a particular place, the party is in. Look at Napo. Immediately he hit the ground. He's going, he has gone certain places. Is that not so? Mm -hmm. And two, they say Napo is arrogant. Yes. There is arrogance in every man. There is pride in every man. For the fact that the, everybody has anger. Don't judge me for the fact that I'm holding this cup. Don't judge me when I'm holding this cup that it may be alcohol. Judge me when I put this bottle cup down. What is my action and action? What is my behavior? And people are not voted for just for character. If not, vote for, vote for pastors to be president. Sometimes, as a leader, you have to be tough. Jesus Christ went to the church and, and tore down and the, kick everything the games away. that they were playing. There is anger in everybody. And the Nkrumah thing that he said, believe me or not, when Nkrumah had a political party, he had opposition, there were opposition leaders and opposition who didn't believe in him Kuruma. yes is that not so correct we are we Ghanaians. we are paying allegiance to the constitution and the freedom of this it wasn't also only in Kuruma who gained it he was a leader of the team we agree yes yes but it took collective people to give us independence are, yeah. are you getting me yeah so people have the right even jesus christ people do, some people don't believe that jesus christ that created we human beings does it mean people have the right to say i don't believe in Kuruma. Mm -hmm. we if you go to the north all the tribal war that you can see is either under up mm -hmm. or, or, or or cpp, CPP. migrating to pnc migrating to today ndc ndc yeah so you cannot let them just as today you cannot let the kusasi that they are believing in the mpp because it is Nkrumah that gave them independence mm -hmm. it is up that took the chief chieftaincy away from them Nkrumah too has his flawed Nkrumah destroyed some chiefs he did so yeah. as Nkrumah also installed some chiefs mm -hmm. Nkrumah make sure some people were that is how Ghanaians wrote uh, intimidated certain people locked them for not believing in him so if some if a politician say i don't believe in Nkrumah they are not socialist they don't believe they don't believe we are we are not worshiping Nkrumah as god we praise him and give him credit for being part and parcel of giving an independent it doesn't mean that he wasn't criticized when he was a, a president he wasn't criticized when are you getting me so if napo makes certain statement that is his statement i don't think and MPP, which is a capitalist party, has done more social intervention than all the social uh, 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 democratic political parties in this country. Okay? Now, we're moving forward. So I think that we should educate the youth because we've been all been brainwashed that besides Nkrumah, Nkrumah, but he wasn't the only person. Like the Northern region, I enjoyed the free education. Nkrumah gave the Northerners the scholarship to edit the first pioneers that he trained, the first secondary school in Tamale. That Nkrumah put there because no teacher, no doctor, nobody wanted to go to the north. Those days, me, my age, at the age of I'm 49 today, mm -hmm. when I was growing up, going to school in Kumasi, mm -hmm. it took us two weeks, three weeks, six weeks, sometime from Kumasi to Boku 
And there was only one tontini. That was the only transport. The, the road. The, the yes. Second the road. Yes. I'm talking about from, 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 from 83. Yes. Ask anybody. It was only one tontini or the Tata bus. That, but you, we're getting the one tontinis. Are, are you getting mm. me? So if today, the, the first. That's a bone shaker. The bone shaker. Mm. The Nkrumah gave us scholarship to train our own. We have our own teachers because nobody wanted to go there. And the first educated people, which is Allah Yudu Sumama, they were the first people who went to secondary school. Most of them, immediately they got that education, they ran away and left the north. They didn't use the, the, the education to implement what Nkrumah gave us. They, were, they had the eye open. They only came and built mansions and married more women. That is why today, by the illiterate states, that is why if you go to Tamale in the northern region today, most of the infrastructure and the businesses belongs to illiterates. So, we, so the education didn't do us the good thing, the good vision that Nkrumah had for us. If they had because stayed, the beneficiaries left. Thank you. If they had stayed and, they gave, came into government. and gave us the robust. Yeah, but they came into government. Yes, but what did they do? Arabi, Abavana, they never did anything. Royal Hassan, they were in government yes. for, for a long time. They were in Accra here. Yes. They built their mansions here. They had their, uh, their... But they brought their children back to Tamale. Mumu Nibaomiya brought Mahamadu, JJ, E.A. Mahama brought John Mahama. Yes. They, they brought their children back to the north to study there. That is very true mm -hmm. and and most of their houses i mean what i'm saying is beyond them allah did this mama dr baumia's father uh, john ramani mama's father they came back and established jobs um, yes, I, yes, but yes, i'm yes. speaking beyond them if mm -hmm. they train about 200 people i'm giving an example Nkrumah, mm -hmm. they only have few because okay. the north is let, let me wrap it up so how is this election going this election do we still have do you, do you need more months to now tell us what may happen this election mm -hmm. is the dynamics are different religious will play a role Okay, mm -hmm. and I tell my NDC people, don't be that the, you want to square the false or e action of I mean bad leader. There is bad leadership in any government. For instance, the Jida, the the how do you call it, uh, 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 Jida Sada and all those, and the Saglemi and all those. Today, it's an equation to the whole that is being dug there. If you want to go. <laughs> mm. I, I, I get what okay, I'm trying to I, say. I get it. I'm sure that So, we, this we, election, there will be a whole mm. lot of dynamics. Get ready, social media. I'm coming to you. There's for a the whole last lot of round. dynamics that will play. This election mm. is not going to be a fine boy issue. <laughs> What's this, fine boy? That today, today, me, mm -hmm. eh, you can sit at the comfort of your listen, the digital listen, uh, mm -hmm. digitalization mm -hmm. is going to play a role. Are you getting me? Yeah. But I'll give my uh, 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 Dr. Mahmoud Bahamia credit that. Um, Dr. Mahmoud Baumia has really matured, mm -hmm. has shown that he's ready to lead in terms of his community, his body language, his sincerity, uh, 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 looking in the eyes of Ghanaians and telling that I will do this as a president. Are you getting me? He has mm -hmm. his own vision beside the party. The party. Yeah. And I think that the NDC itself has a lot of internal, internal reconciliation to do to do eh? look we were defeated 2016 over 1 million very humiliating listen mm -hmm. 2020 we were defeated we didn't even have a we didn't we couldn't collect our result 2020 my brother the mm -hmm. truth of that we didn't have enough pink sheets and the results that we had i see Edun ketia couldn't have used those results to go and sit in the court at the election petition that is why he said it is not ready yet are you getting me so now okay. you are in opposition you have not be able to, you have not been able to put structures in now Look at there's disarray in the party. Mm -hmm. There is no one, some are not willing to work because the president is saying that he'll cut S. Gracia. Even look, even the, the decision that uh, John Dramani Mama is taking, it's not making him attractive. The members of parliament, it's a contract. What they have is the ex Gracia. Mm -hmm. And you are cancelling the ex Gracia. What should they take home? If I'm a member of parliament, I go and take a loan, come and contest an election. I've lost my primaries. The car know that they give me some credit. You are cancelling it. So it has even made him unattractive in the NDC. If you want, we talk at the background. Are, are you getting me? Mm -hmm. Now, reducing the size of your government mm -hmm. eh, mm -hmm. is not the prerogative of, of, uh, 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 to say that you are going to keep it. Is, politics is business. People, that you sit your, your ministers down and ask, are you, you are not going to take S. Gracia. Are you going to cut this? The, it, this country is not a bona fide property of an individual. The constitution, <laughs> okay. the constitution, mm -hmm. That's why democracy is expensive. Yes, it is. Very, very the most expensive democracy. We want democracy. We, want, we don't want revolution. But it's expensive. 
because the entitlements and, and bonuses and certain structures yes, 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 it yes, comes yes. with it that's what makes it but it gives us sustainable government yes and yes, it gives us predictability yes, yes. If so yeah. if I'm a minister mm. and I'm entitled to say that describe that I need security guards, I need this, it's part and parcel of the job. Okay, let me okay. leave it here. Let me leave it here and let them answer. But you have a question for him. I